Hello everyone, welcome to Travel and Style from Basel in Switzerland. First, we would like to thank all our new subscribers who have recently joined the Travel and Style family. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that way you'll get notified of our next destination. So Basel is a city in northwest Switzerland, in the Swiss German part of Switzerland, and it's situated on the Rhine River. And uh, Basel city is one of the 26 cantons of Switzerland and has Basel as its capital. And it's uh, actually close to the country's border with uh, Germany and um, France. And well, it's a big city and uh, it's the third most populated city after uh, Zurich and uh, Geneva and also the second largest city in Switzerland. So because there are so many things to do here, uh, we're going to uh, be uh, filming in two parts. Part one uh, this week and then uh, part two will be next week, so stay tuned for that and enjoy. <laughs> which is the place of the station and what you have in front of you here is the train station which is uh, really beautiful and also we're going to be uh, going to a lot of different places in Basel and uh, show you this uh, beautiful city
And here also, when you when you get to uh, to Basel, uh, if you're coming from the train station, then you have a lot of hotels that are right here on the Platz. Uh, like uh, you have the Schweizerhof here that we uh, saw in uh, several cities. So you have several hotels uh, to choose from if you're ever. Uh, in Basel and want to be close to the station so here you have man's privacy hotels as well it's a really a beautiful city and uh, has so much to offer so if you're ever in Basel make sure you spend a lot of time uh, at least uh, one or two days as uh, you have uh, lots of museums here and uh, a lot of things to see and also as you know uh, Basel is uh, known for uh, Art Basel which takes place I think this year is taking place in June so for art lovers this is really uh, the, the ideal uh, city in Switzerland to uh, visit. So some of the museums here are usually uh, housed in uh, buildings which themselves are uh, real works of art designed by amazing architects such as Mario Botta or Frank Gehry. So we will uh, visit also the old town for those who are new to this channel in this channel we visit cities uh, we show you also uh, luxury hotels and uh, boutique hotels and uh, wellness and spa of course uh, we've been focusing on cities because of the pandemic and uh, but soon we will be sharing a lot more on this channel so if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and uh, join the Travel and Style family as you'll be discovering a lot of new things here. As I've said uh, before, this uh, beautiful city 
has a lot of things to offer and many museums to visit. So today we're going towards the Kunst Museum uh, in Basel, which houses the oldest art collection in the world and is generally considered to be the most important museum of art in Switzerland. And uh, it's also listed as a heritage site of uh, national significance. So stay with us and keep discovering as we are heading to the Kunst Museum. We are now in front of the Kunst Museum in Switzerland. And uh, as I have uh, mentioned before, uh, this beautiful museum hosts the oldest public art collection in the world and is listed as a heritage site of national significance. So for all the arts lovers in the world, if you ever would like to uh, see a museum in Switzerland, an art museum that uh, has a lot of different artists, then this is the place to come as it's the most important museum in Switzerland for art. So we're going to go in and show it to you. So stay tuned and keep discovering with Travel and Style. So here in the Kunst Museum, there are three parts and uh, we are entering now the main part of the museum uh, which has a wonderful uh, courtyard so if you haven't had uh, lunch yet then you can have lunch here and the main part of the Kunst Museum. Here it is. So here we are on the first floor of the Kunst Museum and uh, here you will uh, discover collections from the 15th to the 19th century. Of course, uh, we cannot see everything and spend a lot of time, but uh, we will try to show you as much as uh, possible. So here we are in the 15th or 16th century with uh, artist Hans Baldung Grien. So we're going to uh, try to take a look at everything and then of course we will uh, move to um, the other building, which has uh, also some interesting collections. Now we are on the first floor 
but uh, we will also go to the second floor to check some of the Picasso works. Have you ever been to the Kunstmuseum? If you have, please let us know in the comments. We would love to know. Very interesting. There is so much to see here. You would definitely have to uh, dedicate uh, either a full afternoon or a whole day to cover everything. So this is Hans Baldung Green. It's really beautiful. And here as well, you have some very, very nice paintings. As I said to you, this museum hosts one of the oldest collections in the world.
So this is uh, Christ returned from Egypt and his presence amongst the doctors. As you can see, there's so much to see here, so make sure you dedicate a lot of time. So we will uh, now move to uh, the second floor to see other parts of the Kunst Museum. This is so lovely, one of the most beautiful museums, one of the most beautiful museums. So we will now move to the second floor. As you can see, it's huge. We have not seen uh, this gallery. We will uh, quickly pop by. So impressive. This is a very, very beautiful uh, painting. This is uh, the Isle of the Living from uh, the painter Arnold Brooklyn, 19th century. Really nice with the swans and the people uh, swimming in the lake. Beautiful. That's uh, also a very interesting uh, painting with uh, all the sirens. So, very, very interesting. So, do you believe in sirens? I mean, are they a legend or do they really exist? That is the question. Please uh, put your comment in the comment section. What do you think? That's it. We will move to the second floor as I have told you. So stay with us and keep discovering. So we are now on the second floor of the main building. And here you have the collection of the 20th century. Wow, it's really, really beautiful.
take a look at this. It's so beautiful, beautiful colors. Five women together. Absolutely gorgeous. So this painting is called View into Infinity by uh, artist uh, Ferdinand Odler and it represents five women that are mysterious, enigmatic, uh, dressed in blue. So yeah, that's it, View into Infinity by Ferdinand Odler and uh, this is uh, a painting from 19, somewhere between 1914 and uh, 1916. So here we have several artists, we have paintings from Picasso as well, like this one. This is also a Picasso, which represents fruit and bread on a table. Another uh, Picasso which represents a man, a woman and a child. So as you can see you have very very interesting uh, paintings here of Picasso and many other artists. So, so now we're going to see the painting of a woman sitting on a divan, which is right here, from artist Henri Matisse. So as you can see, we can go on and on and on. So much to see. This is uh, from artist Fernand Léger. Unfortunately, we cannot cover everything, but
So that's it. We will move to the second building now and check the collections that are over there. So if you're ever in Basel, we really, really uh, advise you to come and uh, visit this beautiful museum. So this is such a magnificent uh, painting that I came back to take a look at before moving to the other building of the Kunst Museum to show you some more collections. Look how beautiful this museum is. It's so lit, it's so nice. So, if you haven't been to uh, this museum yet, we strongly advise you uh, visit it on your next time in uh, Basel. This is a very, very famous sculpture of Auguste Rodin. It's very known for art lovers. So, and this is on the first floor of the main building, if ever you visit. So we are now going to the second building. Where you have uh, a collection of Louise Bourgeois. And uh, we're also going to see many other artists. Uh, we hope that you're enjoying the visit of the most important art museum in Switzerland, the Kunst Museum. So now we're going into the second building via this uh, passage. So we are here on the first floor of the second building and we're going to show you some interesting uh, works as well. Here it says, the true artist helps the world by revealing mystic truths. So the true artist helps the world by revealing mystic truths. Very interesting. This is very, very pretty. 
I really like the colors. It's very, very interesting. Very nice. And it goes from uh, light to dark. Light on the left and gets darker on the right. Very nice. And here we have Andy Warhol's works. For those of you who know him, and this uh, this is uh, called Black and White Disaster from 1963. Apparently, it represents an accident. Well, black and white disaster by Andy Warhol. There it is. Well, actually it shows uh, an accident. And here we have also Another one of uh, his paintings. Now let's see what it's called. It's called Ten Foot Flowers. Ten Foot Flowers by Andy Warhol. And this one by uh, Sam Gillian, Green April from 1969 is the one that I have uh, showed you at the beginning. It's very beautiful. So we will uh, soon finish our visit of the Kunz Museum. We will uh, show you a couple of things and then we will wrap up the video. So that's it. We have uh, now finished our visit of the Kunst Museum. And uh, we hope that you liked it. We hope you, you enjoyed it. And uh, next week we will continue uh, showing you actually Basel as a city and actually the old town of Basel, which is absolutely gorgeous so that will be for next week so if you like this video make sure to share it with your friends give it a big thumbs up like and subscribe by hitting the travel and style icon on the left of the screen or the little red button on the bottom right of the screen and that way you'll get notified of our next destination so stay tuned, Travel and Style is signing off, bye bye.